Hello and welcome, I'm Raziel. So before today's main video, which is later on tonight, I uh, want to talk about this Eman G thing. This whole Games Workshop are bullying and harassing a fan from just making miniatures. Alright? That seems to be the narrative that's going around. Now, Games Workshop deserves a lot of hate. I am, I, I'm not disagreeing with that. They do. They deserve a lot. They do so much wrong, but it's hard to say that they do anything right. Scalping... Okay, that's not technically them, but they sort of help it out a lot. The lack of stock, the limited edition stuff, and of course the price rises. Yeah, they deserve a lot of hate. Being legit legitimate against other companies. Yeah, they deserve the hate. Don't get me wrong, they do. However, in this case, it's not all their fault. I know, it sounds weird, right? Like, if they're going off to a fan, oh, this guy's been making 3D miniatures and GW's suing them because they're making 3D miniatures. For a start, that's not actually why he was sued. And he's lucky, by the way. The more I looked into this, he's absolutely lucky. It was Games Workshop who sued him and went after him. Not Sega. Sega are worse. They are so much worse than Games Workshop. And, yeah, they don't stop. They, like, they will, they will make sure he... Will pay millions to the end of time, and he they would make him homeless. They would just tear him apart. His lucky games workshop went after him, and not Sega. And you're saying, oh, why would Sega go after him? See, he wasn't actually sued for making miniatures. He was sued for taking the files from Total Warhammer and putting them on Colt 3D. Now, I actually have the background of the case here. Um, I'm actually looking for the whole case now as well, but I think I've got to wait until it's all finished before I can take that. And when it is all finished, I'm going to talk about it because it's important. Because here's the thing. With things like this, you need to know the whole story and not just this guy who's going on saying, Oh, GW's so mean to me. He, they're suing me. Oh, well, dude, they sued you already, all right? You're paying for legal costs now. Which he could have stopped at two separate occasions. Games Workshop didn't go straight after him and just sue him. Okay? And they didn't do that. They didn't go, oh, we're going to sue you now. Right? There, there's more to this story than meets the eye. And I hope he's talked about it because I don't want to watch Arch videos or Asmund's Gun. They both annoy the piss out of me. They, they just do be absolutely annoy the piss out of me. Right. The claims or target a respondent. Rogue Games Workshop has filed a dozen claims with the... Right, now this bit is important. that They were filed with the Copyright Claims Board. Copyright Claims Board will only take a case if they think it's actually infringement on copyright. Okay? They will not take the case or even offer support if they don't believe that is the case. So the fact that this board has taken the case means that they're pretty sure that, you know, Games Workshop's IP has been infringed. And again, i got to say... Yeah, lucky. He's lucky it was Games Workshop. Uh, they all feature nearly identical language because, and largely the same part from specific works highlighted in each one. So basically, each work, the individual work, has been the one. <laughs> is how it's, each claim is different. But to forward on to this, in April this uh, April this year, they consolidated the claims into one claim. With all 14 works still in the one claim. It was the CCB who actually sp split them up, by the way. It wasn't Games Workshop either. It was the CCB. It was the Copyright Claims Board that actually divided them. And and he was basically given these uh, 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 copyright infringement notices by the Copyright Claims Board bit by bit. It, again, these were infringement notices. Uh, it, this wasn't a court thing. And... So it, was never, it could have gone to court, it could have gone to a federal court, but it didn't. And so they consolidated it, basically. So it's now one big claim, which actually works in Mr. Gassemi's, in Gassemi's favour, because it lowers his court costs a lot. A lot. It, it absolutely lowers his legal costs so much, even though that GoFundMe has been going on since October, and his costs have gone down now. And he hasn't told you, by the way. I just want to make sure you know that. His legal costs have gone down from 14, uh, 12 different uh, claims down to one. So his legal costs have gone down. The actual payment he's going to have to pay is still going to be exaggerately high. 
but his legal costs have gone down. Anyway, according to the claims, Games Gesemi extracted model files from a Warhammer video game, Total Warhammer, like I said, lucky GW did this, not Sega, and converted them to a format that was usable by 3D printers. Then they claim he uploaded those files for free use on the website called 3D. Games Workshop then goes on to claim Gesemi operates Patreon, which he does, where for a fee of $8 a month, users can obtain the same models, but with extra structural supports for easier printing. According to Games Workshop, the original files on Cult 3D are not suitable for printing due to the lack of support needed to and need to be edited for function. Finally, the company alleges Gesemi also operates an Etsy account, couldn't find his Etsy account, where he sells the prints themselves for $65 a print, which is ex very high for a 3D printing person, by the way. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, $65 per print? No. No, 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 no. About retail between $100 and several hundred dollars, according to Games Workshop. Games Workshop claims that they are first attempt to resolve this dispute by sending a digital Millennium Copyright Act, the MCA, take down notice to Patreon. However, the semi filed a counter notice saying that the works were already available freely on Cult 3D, and since only the supports were different, he felt his Patreon was non infringing. You know, the the files he uploaded is using he's using as an excuse on why the counter notice on his counter notice. Okay. Games Workshop alleges that Gesemi ignored the fact whether it was freely available elsewhere isn't relevant and that he was the one who uploaded the files to Cult 3D illegally. You know, this is basically where the case comes from. Uh, you know. And he's making the claim to basically Patreon saying you need to take this down because he's, he's put our files on Cult 3D you know, he's, he's selling our files uh, for through Patreon, or however Patreon does it, and then <laughs> he's saying, oh, no, 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 but Patreon ignored Games Workshop here, okay? Games uh, Patreon should have gone, hold on, so he's the one who done it, yeah, uh, yeah we're going to take this down now, uh, but Games Workshop ignored it, uh, Patreon ignored it. They also sent a cease and desist letter to Kissemi, which they said went ignored. So basically, they even sent a letter to him saying, please stop. They tried the whole DMCA thing with his Patreon. And they said, right, we now, we're now we taking legal action against you with a cease and desist, which he ignored. And now Games Workshop sued him for a maximum damages of $30,000 per each case. And each case is each piece of work, by the way. So that's how the numbers are done. <laughs> so here's the thing. The... He, if this isn't a court case, by the way, it's a federal. Uh, it's a case on the copyright claims board, as said. And Games Workshop have now consolidated the cases into one. If the claims into one, I should say. So basically, his legal costs have gone down. The copyright claims board also cannot uh, serve injunctions. So there's nothing stopping him legally from continuing on Patreon to make models. And sell models on. He, there is no injunction. He, they cannot stop him. Games Workshop's not even serving an injunction against him to stop him. They're just saying, "Look, we've tried to stop you twice. We wanted to do this, you know, amicably in a friendly way, and you didn't do it. We we have to take steps now." And I think that's the horrid thing about this. And I don't like defending Games Workshop. I really don't. But this case isn't just GW bad it's not just Games Workshop's the horrid bully here it actually looks like Games Workshop said right can you not do this this is our stuff this is from our video game and the thing is <laughs> Sega can still sue for the same reasons and I have looked at his account on Cult 3D and yeah if I was him, right now, I'd keep my mouth shut. I would be very, very quiet. I know this sounds bad because I'm actually... Sh there's stuff from Helldivers. There's stuff from Starship Troopers. There's stuff from Resident Evil. 
and there's Half-Life. This is his cult 3D stuff, okay? Yeah, they look good, but they actually do look like they've been ripped from the games. If he had molded these and made these himself, like, I don't know if these actually are sculpted, actually made from the games, but they do look like it, so... <sighs> if he sculpted them himself, good for him, right? Absolutely. Like, sell the stuff you make. But, Doom, The Witcher... But, if he has taken from these games, and all of a sudden he's shouting that Games Workshop while doing this, and get, they're going to say, a lot of companies are going to say, why are Games Workshop suing this guy? Why did they sue this guy? And they'll look at this and go, wait, uh, that's mine, that's mine, or, you know, CD Projekt will go, that's mine, uh, uh, Valve could go, mine, mine, mine. You see what I mean? And it could get a lot worse for him when it comes to this sort of thing. And also, in America, if someone cannot pay, or get the money to pay, it's... It's this way, it's this really weird event where you don't actually pay, but it's considered paid for. If you cannot financially make the payment. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. So even then, it might only cost him his solicitor fees. And that's it. And like I said, his solicitor fees have gone down. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. What are your thoughts on this? I, like, I want to make sure that the whole, as much as the story is told, is told. Not just the one side. I, I want to make sure that you are up on the facts of this case rather than just hearing the one side. And so, what are your thoughts? Do you think this is entirely GW? Or do you think this is entirely him? Or do you think GW were trying to do the right thing? Like, I actually think they were trying to, but were kind of backed into a corner with it. Um... Do you think it could get worse for him now he's got a spotlight on himself and he's got all this other, you know, <laughs> other company's IEP on his Colt 3D, which is the reason he was sued for the first type place. This wasn't selling on Patreon. It was the illegally uploading of these um, files, you know. That's what it was for. It was basically that. Anyway, I'd like to hear your point, opinions. I'm probably going to lose this, uh, subscribers on this one. But uh, like I said, it's the truth. I've I've shown you the truth, and I hope you get something out of this. And if you want to support the channel, go to Winning Games, buy some more gaming stuff. Go to Mantic if you want, because they do STLs as well. Sixty-five dollars for a print, though. <sighs> That's steep. Jeez. And one page walls is so much cheaper. Like go into my my mini dot com uh, for one page wall stuff. That's so much cheaper. Anyway, yeah, go to any games and give them a, uh, you know, I get disc I get um, get up to get up to twenty percent discount on your on most war gaming, and there is a free delivery after twenty quid. There is uh, Forbidden Planet book comics, DVDs, and <coughs> everything else. There is uh, my merchandise as well: stickers, T-shirts, travel mugs, there and. There is also my comics as well, that's down below. And Skyforge, never forget Skyforge, and finally Patreon. Because business, I don't really do anything with Patreon. It's like, if you support me on Patreon, you're just giving me money, and I'd rather you didn't. Bye.